All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're with my EQT Stage 2 GTI. It has been raining a ton lately, so I apologize for one, how dirty this car is, but also the fact that I'm probably gonna have the windows up most of this because if you know, you know, when you own a Mark 7 VW platform, these things just like to randomly just drip water right into your interior when you got the windows cracked, when the car's wet at all. And uh, my interior's gotten a little bit too dirty from that. So um, again, pardon the dirtiness of the car. It has been raining so much and I just haven't had the time because of work and then fighting rain to keep this thing clean. So for those who are new to my channel, this is my 2017 Volkswagen Golf GTI. Um, I know, not an R. I know people, a lot of people are like, ooh, why didn't you buy the R? But this is my GTI. We've got quite a, a good bit of stuff done to this car. Um, so as far as exhaust goes, we've got a HPA cat a downpipe to a stock cat back. Um, so everything there is still there. The resonator, the back box muffler, everything is here um, with some custom black chrome tips. Um, we've got VLAN taillights. Now, I actually bought these through a outside seller, not through Amazon, and uh, they're not the best. I'm not going to lie. I'm not impressed with them. Um, they look great, but uh, the, Euro, the, the sequentials don't work, and I get an error for this side specifically every time I turn the, the lights on completely. When I've got my parking lights on, which just turns on the DRLs, it's fine, but when the lights are actual on, I get errors and stuff. And the right ones tend to give me some sometimes too. Um, We've got Koenig countergram wheels with uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires on it. Um, roads are kind of, I mean, they're a little dry, but they're still a little damp. My driveway's soaking, as you can see. Um, we've got a EQT Stage 2 tune up front. We've got a new speed intake, uh, CTS turbo inlet pipe. Um, and then I have a 034 or 034 Motorsport, my boys right here, tune the transmission on this car. Um, no suspension mods as of yet, but I am gonna be doing some in the hopefully near future. We've also got an ECS front lip, which is going to be going away soon because it's built like crap and it's cracked now. I left a uh, Krispy Kreme about 50 minutes away from my house and it actually cracked. I'm trying to see if I can find the spot uh, right here. Here it is. So yeah, she took a little bit of a beating and uh, yeah, so that's toast. Um, but outside of that, we've also got VLAN Mark 8 style headlights. I get lots of questions about these. Go watch that video. I don't. I think I'm like one of like maybe three or four GTIs in the world that are rocking these headlights. Um, they do fit. Everyone like all the ads say they don't fit regular. They only fit regular TSI cars. They don't fit GTIs, but they do in fact fit GTIs. So we're gonna go take this car out for a drive. I'm gonna go pick up some lunch about five minutes away from my house. But we're gonna go enjoy the car and have some fun. And um, on the way back, once this thing has some more temperature in it, we're gonna have some polls because a lot of people a lot of people have been waiting on me to do polls on video again because the last time i was given this car the beans on video was when we were in tail of the dragon back in august so i'm gonna get android auto loaded up oh broke boy no iphone i used to have an iphone fun fact i actually jumped away from it now we've had a spirit box bless our ears let's uh hit the road and uh, i'll catch up to you guys in a moment all right, so we have hit the road. So this is my GTI, like I said. We're gonna be driving in normal mode for a good bit of this video, just kind of the way to the restaurant and back. Um, and I'll put it in sport mode on the return trip. Um, quite frankly, this car is uh, very, very mundane, which I, not mundane, I don't really, a uh, calm, I guess is a better term for it. Um, this car makes 330 horsepower plus, uh, I don't actually know what it makes on their 93 setup. The only, um, like stats they show is their 91 tune, which makes like 320 or something like that. Uh, which of course that extra two octane, while it may not sound like it helps much, will give it some help. Um, we do have a Cobb access port here. This is the EQT's access port. I bought it through them when I bought the tune. I've got a CJM um, vent mount. So this actually swaps out the defrost vent here. Uh, and there's multiple ways to run the wire. We just did the way that was easiest because in the CJM instructions, it's gonna drill a hole in the dash, which I did enough like cutting and drilling on my old explorer sport track that i had before i got this car i'm not trying to do all that with this car this car is way too nice for me to be putting holes in um but yeah i mean i've had this car for going on almost a year now 11 months with this car now um next month will be the one year of having this thing and it's got 36,000 miles i got it with 28,000. so it, it's definitely uh put on almost 10,000 miles in that first year um so yeah, I mean, the car has been treating me great. I haven't had a whole lot of issues out of it. I did have some limp mode issues for a minute, as I talked about previously, my previous tuning um, choice, as well as I had a set of Velt Sport RS3 coil packs in the car. 
Um, we'll, we'll, we'll put in sport and have a little bit of a toot here. Transmission is definitely not up to temp yet. <laughs> so yeah, it made uh, 28 pounds of boost. This is, of course, using the boost thing, which isn't entirely accurate, and made 416 torque according to the access port. So definitely no slouch by any means. This, it does, if you did not already hear it, has um, EQT's burbles on it. I thought I'd give them a try and see, you know, what the hype was about with the burble tune. And I was like, you know what, we'll give it a try. If I hate it, I can always have them take it off. I am not keen on them. I am really not keen on the burbles. And I know a lot of GTI owners and golf owners are like, what, you don't like burbles? But I don't, they're not my thing. They're just not. I mean, I, 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 I get there's some people's bag, they're not mine. I just thought I'd give them a try. They said they're fairly subtle and be okay for catted cars. And uh, they're not subtle, that is for sure, especially once you've done a pull or two. So I'm gonna run inside and grab this lunch from our local Taco Bell, and I'll be back momentarily. All right, lunch has been retrieved. Everything was right. I have had bad luck with this Taco Bell in the past, but my order being right, thankfully, it was right today. Power the access port back on. So one thing I'm gonna do different this time compared to on the way here and I did that quick little second gear. I am gonna turn e uh, ESC into sport. Uh, don't expect any super crazy pulls right here because uh, quite frankly, I live in a very residential area and uh, don't have enough room to go crazy out here. Um, this car, especially with it being cold out, I mean, it's in the 40s, um, apparently 50s, but we're gonna go ahead and put it in sport, put the ESC into sport, and then we should be good to go and do a couple rips with her and uh, have some fun with it. I've noticed traction control cuts and it's very aggressive with this car now. Uh, unlike my throttle response, EQT, what was that about? <laughs> my throttle response went out the window when I got this tune put on the car. So we're going to, I'm hopefully gonna be able to get, figure that out or just have to get used to the fact that it sucks now. Um, <laughs> that was one thing I did love about my HPA tune is it was just so snappy on the throttle response. Whereas when you're in normal mode with this, with this tune, not quite so much. But yeah, this car's stock cat back, and as you can hear, it sounds pretty okay. Um, it's definitely not your stereotypical, really raspy GTI. Um, these cars, when you decat them and you go crazy with like a straight pipe, they get raspy. And that is not my thing when it comes to exhaust. I'm gonna crack the back a little bit to try to relieve some air pressure so it's not buffeting or anything in your guys' ears. But uh, I don't like uh, rasp. I never have, and that is, I'm gonna talk, considering my, my sport track that was full bolts on, had headers all nine yards, was very raspy. Um, and I don't want this car to do that. Plus it's a four cylinder. Four cylinders just typically don't sound good raspy. I'm gonna check and make sure the oil is warmed up. We got some warmth in there. So I'm gonna click it down a couple times. Pops are ridiculous, goodness. Wait till we get straightened now. All right, here we go. This thing is so fast. <laughs> I got to know, stage two, in the grand scheme of things, is nothing to write home about. There are cars out there that are making way more power and are way faster than this thing is. But gosh, I've never experienced something quite so fast. I do not mean to pop right next to him. I feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut this off for now to catch up to you guys when I get home. All right, guys, that was fun. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit after uh, just beating the absolute crap out of it. So this thing is so fun, guys. Uh, definitely, if you have a GTI and you're not looking to go super crazy, go stage two. I think it's just plenty fun. You're gonna be able to. You're gonna be faster in like 75% of things on the road, but. Um, this thing is such a blast guys. I definitely recommend stage two and I really like EQT so far I mean, they've been great um, The car drives significantly better than it did on HPA's tune, which is unfortunate considering HPA's tune um, It's still fairly good. I mean, there's really no right or wrong answer when you're going with a tune for GTI um, I mean, it doesn't matter really but I, I like EQT um, Probably this much more than the HPA tune um, the only thing that I will give HBA the credit for is one, um, they're definitely uh, very fun to work with because they're just, you know, they're, they are they are the king of Volkswagen, really. I mean, let's be real. HBA has, you know, been those guys when it comes to VW. EQT, of course, as well. Um, the one thing I'll give the HBA tune credit for that I think is better than EQT is the throttle response. Good gosh, the throttle response is terrible in normal mode. When you're, when you're in a sport, it's fantastic. When you're normal, it absolutely sucks. So... Be wary of that if you're gonna go with one of those two tunes. Um, but yeah, those are my takes. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little short um, POV drive and getting to see me actually do some rips on camera for the first time in forever. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, have a great Christmas if I don't upload again before Christmas. And I will see you guys soon with the top 10 videos of 2022. Take care guys, have a great day. With the, with the